with the new extraterritorial scope of the EU General Data Protection Regulation, known as the GDPR, U.S. companies that offer goods or services, whether for pay or free, to residents of the European Union, and those that analyze behavior in Europe of such residents, are subject to the GDPR. Facebook and Google need to adapt their business models to take into account the GDPR because they're highly dependent on personal data for tailoring advertising to their users, and they collect lots of it, including in Europe. With the GDPR, they're subject to additional requirements, such as new rights of their users with respect to their data. These require internal adaptation. Furthermore, while both companies have been sanctioned many times in the EU before for violations of European law, today the same violations could lead to sanctions in the billions of euros. Some of Facebook and Google's competitors, and here I think of Apple and Microsoft, have chosen to use their promotion of privacy as a marketing factor, increasing the trust among users. This has been described as the case for the new iPhones announced in September. This is also the case with Microsoft, which announced that it would provide the same user rights to its customers worldwide as that, those that it's required to provide to its European users under the GDPR. Incorporating privacy by design, finding other revenue streams, minimizing data collected, these would be ways for Facebook and Google to start their necessary adaptation.